This video is for all university staff, faculty, students, and volunteers working with hazardous materials to learn how to properly clean up a small chemical spill. There are key elements to any spill cleanup. Assess the situation and ensure personal safety. Notify others in the area. Isolate the hazard. And if small enough, perform proper cleanup and reporting. If you are working with hazardous materials, you should be familiar with the campus chemical hygiene plan and safety data sheets or STSs of any chemical you're working with. You should also have a specific standard operating procedure, SOP, for working with that material. Be prepared. Your area should have a spill kit. Each spill kit should include a brush and dustpan, base neutralizer, acid neutralizer, pH paper, spill socks, plastic bag, zip ties, spill pads, and tongs. Call eh &S if you have any questions. You should always wear personal protective equipment, or PPE, when handling hazardous materials. Many injuries occur due to the lack of proper PPE, so be sure to protect yourself. Minimum PPE consists of hand protection, lab coat, eye protection, long pants, and closed-toed shoes. If the spill occurs while you are working, you should already be wearing the proper PPE and anything else appropriate for the hazards as outlined in the SOP. You should never attempt to clean up a spill if the following occur. You are uncertain of the materials. You feel uncomfortable cleaning up the spill. You do not have a spill kit or the proper PPE, or the spill is too large for you to clean up. Never enter a space you suspect to be contaminated. Call eh &S or UCPD for assistance and prevent anyone from entering the space. If you encounter any of these situations, call eh &S for assistance. For after-hours help or if you believe to be in imminent danger, call UCPD. If you're comfortable cleaning up the spilled material, here's how to use your spill kit. Start by putting on a second pair of gloves. Contain the spill to prevent spreading. Use the spill socks in your kit to create a barrier around the spill. Next. Use the pH paper to test the material. When cleaning up, make sure to work from the outside in. That is, work around the edge, absorbing and or neutralizing towards the center of the spill. Let it stand for a few minutes to allow for the spill pads to absorb liquid or for the neutralizing reaction to occur. When you're ready to collect the hazardous waste, use a plastic bag located in your spill kit. Prepare the bag by rolling the outside of the plastic bag down. This will help protect you in the final stage of packaging the cleanup materials. Next, put all the materials you used into the bag. Take your time to avoid splashing or dripping materials outside of the contained area. Be sure to include everything. Fold spill pads, sweep up any neutralizing powder you used with the dustpan and broom, pack up the spill socks, and use tongs to remove any broken glass or material. When all is cleaned up, properly decontaminate using appropriate cleaning solutions or disinfectants according to the SOP. Chemical spills involving radioisotopes should be decontaminated accordingly. Stop and contact eh &S Radiation for assistance. Dispose of the cleaning materials in the bag with the other items or put them in their own bag. Don't forget to include your disposable PPE such as gloves at the end of the cleanup. When you are ready, Roll up the edge of the plastic bag, securing the top, and twist it to close the bag opening. Fold the bag onto itself and secure tightly with a zip tie. Next, create a hazardous waste label using Waste E. Place on the bag and store in an appropriate secondary container in the waste accumulation area for pickup. The last step is documentation. Be sure to notify your PI or department of the incident and complete an incident report at ehs.ucr.edu. In summary, remember to wear appropriate PPE at all times when working with hazardous materials. Control, contain, and clean up a spill if you know how to. Decontaminate, dispose, and document it appropriately. And remember, never enter a space you suspect to be contaminated. If you have any questions, please contact Environmental Health and Safety. 